actually joined right now in the studio on Jamming with Juice. We got somebody here who got the juice. All right. We have somebody here in the building, a very special person. I'm talking about three-time MLB All-Star and 2018 National League MVP Christian Yelich in the building. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? I'm doing awesome. And we also have Omar, who is here as well. As you guys know, he pretty much put together this entire like Third Street Market Hall. So I'm shout out to you. I'm when I'm next to Christian, but thanks. thanks <laughs> you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get you in there, of course. Now, I'm gonna start with you, Christian, because... Later on this month, on July 25th, it's a Thursday, mm -hmm. you're going to be having your home play charity concert at the Paps Theater yep. that is benefiting military veterans and the Milwaukee community. So can you tell us a little bit more about that charity concert and what inspired you to even start this initiative? Yeah, I mean, last year was, um, you know, our first event and it was just kind of learning how it all worked and we were just trying to see if it would be uh, be a success and, and able to, uh, you know, help out in the community and we had a lot of fun last year. It ended up being a great time and, and wanted to do it again this year. And I've gotten to know Omar over the years. I've known Omar since I was with the Marlins. So for about wow. ten, for about 10 years now. And, um, you know, we'd always go into Carnivore when uh, we were in town playing the Brewers. And then obviously now that uh, I'm, around, I'm around the city a little bit more and right. um, been out here for the last seven years, I've gotten to know him extremely well. And he's, he's had a huge part in this and, and bringing people together in the community and um, doing things for a great cause, and you know we're, we're raising money for uh, the Brewers Community Foundation, Visit Milwaukee, Team RWB, which is um, an organization benefiting veterans, and uh, we're looking forward to having a great night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, I think that was a, a big goal for us. Was yes, we wanted to we wanted to raise money and, and, and to do a lot of good in, in the Milwaukee community, but we also wanted people to have a good time coming mm -hmm. out to the event. You know, you you go to a charity event, you want to make sure that, that people are having fun, that they're they're excited um, for the night, and we're gonna have some of my teammates joining me, which is which is really generous as, of them as well, considering it's an off day for us and they uh -huh. could be doing whatever. But um, you know, they're choosing to spend it with us How and, and help us. Showed up last year, almost the entire team last year. So oh wow, yeah, we had a lot of we had a lot of guys come out, and um, you know, I'm really thankful for that support. It means a lot to me, and we're just excited to do some good in the community and and to give back. So uh, second annual one, and hopefully we continue to build year after year. Yeah, no, for sure. And it is going to be a whole lot of fun. You got American Idol winner Scotty McCreary. I think that's mm -hmm. how you say his yeah. name. He's going to be there. You got DJ Shauna. She's going to be there. You got a comedian mm -hmm. Charlie Barron's. Yep. I think I'm saying Charlie that Barons, name right. Yeah, yeah. so Barons, it yeah. is going to be so fun. Yeah. Now, you did mention that, you know, you want to give back to the community and things like that, but you also are connected to the veterans through your brother. Yeah. Because he's actually a U.S. Marine Corps um, veteran. Mm -hmm. So, what personal stories or experiences related to your brother's service kind of motivated you to want to give back in this way specifically? Yeah. So obviously, yeah, my brother served and I've actually gotten to know, uh, I've had a lot of friends that have served that are currently still serving and mm. um, have met a lot of people that have served um, just through playing baseball. Um, you know, I think we're, we're fortunate to have a, to have a platform and then you try to use it for good and, and, and touch as many people as you can in, in, a, in a positive way. And, um, like I said, last year, uh, we, we did a, we did a lot of good for, for Brewers Community Foundation, for Beckham Stapleton Little League. And, yes. um, you know, this year we're focusing on, on Team RWB, Brewers Community Foundation again, and, and Visit Milwaukee. So trying to, uh, you know, broaden our horizons and, and really just benefit as many people as we can and try to help out in as many different areas as, as possible. And, uh, just really fortunate for, for the support and looking forward to, to having a great time and, um, you know, veterans do a lot for us, and, and to just have a small gesture to be able to give back and help them and their families is uh, it's important to me because um, seeing it from a, a personal side, family-wise, and then obviously just throughout, you know, having friends and, and, and that aspect as well. Now, Christian, with you having a, a military background and, and having a relationship with the military community, uh, how did you celebrate your 4th of July? We were in uh, Colorado. We were playing the Rockies. Uh, <laughs> so our 4th of July, we were, uh, we played a night game in Colorado. Uh, we saw a fireworks show out there after the game. The, the Rockies put on a pretty good one. And then uh, we got on a plane and flew to L.A., actually. So wow. we were landing at uh, LAX around midnight, 1 in the morning, kind of seeing all the, the fireworks pop off around L.A. So uh, for us, we're usually always, uh, we're always usually playing on 4th of July slash traveling. And uh, I think my last 4th of July where I wasn't playing baseball, I was probably 
17 or 18. So it's, it's, it's been a few years since I've actually had a 4th of July to just kind of hang out. But um, Throw something on the grill. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's been a minute for sure. I was uh, just finished up high school, I think, was the last time hey. I, uh, I did that. So, yeah, about 14 years ago. But, um, yeah, that's how we spent it this year. Do you like staying busy? Or is that kind of – can it be really chaotic in your life like that? Oh, yeah. But I, I think you get used to it after a little while. But uh, – you're always on the go. You know, every every three, four days, you're in a different city. You're getting on a plane, um, playing. You, you lose track of where you're at sometimes. You're in different time zones. But it's all part of the uh, the baseball experience and, and wouldn't trade it for anything. It's It's been been a lot of fun. And um, I think after a little while, you kind of just get in a routine and are used to being super busy and bouncing around everywhere. Right. Well, I want to get to know you outside of baseball. So what are some of your hobbies and your interests? Like, what do you do in yeah. the off season? Are you in the pool all the time? Are you traveling? Uh, like, what, yeah. what does it look like? I like we're so busy during the season. I think we've got seven, eight months where we're basically playing every day. If you mm-hmm. count if you count spring training, the regular season playoffs, you know, we can go from February to the end of October of you're playing baseball. So uh, you get a few months to kind of try to figure out you know what you want to do and, and, and live a bit a little bit of life as as far as um you know in your free time and for me I, I like to travel I like to um check out new places I, I spend a lot of time at the beach I like to catch up with uh, friends and family that you don't really get to see during the season and mm-hmm. um obviously you, you got to mix in some of your uh, your off season work and st- stay on top of that so you can uh, be ready to go when spring starts but for me I like to just kind of get away from it all and Really enjoy the downtime, recharge, let your body heal up a little bit, and um, you know, check out some some beach places. Yeah, no TV, no uh, movies that you like to oh, watch. Oh yeah, I crush I crush TV and Netflix and all that stuff <laughs> in the in the off season too. You, you got a lot of time to, to catch up on some shows and right. do that whole deal. I, I like watching uh, I like watching football a lot too in the off season on, mm. on Sundays, Thursdays, that whole deal. And um, we got we got a little fantasy league with the the Brewers, so you know, just some. Uh, you know, talking some trash to your teammates in the off season and that whole deal. So that's a lot of fun as well. Dang. Does Kendrick Lamar or Drake help you? Listen, you already know the yeah, we got time. A, we were just we, we were just we were just in LA, so we we heard our, uh, our oh, fair man. share of Kendrick out there in, in LA. Uh, Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium has one of the best sound systems in baseball too. So they're they're kind of getting after it out there, and um, that was pretty cool for sure. Have you picked like a side? Have I picked a side? Because I know I you're a stay, Drake fan. I try to stay. I try to stay neutral and everything when it comes. <laughs> it comes right down right uh-huh. down the middle. So uh, you know, I like I like to just be uh, an outside observer. And, uh, <laughs> you know, just taking taking all the good music from both sides. Oh yeah. my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> right sure, right down the middle. Okay, that's a, that's a you know a good answer. You know, got to stay right there in the middle because you know you being from California, yeah. I know Kendrick probably yeah. watching. Yeah. Right? West Coast. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's going on? So. When it comes to even you playing baseball, you've been doing it for a long time, and mm-hmm. I'm not sure when people even think about retiring at mm-hmm. all. But when you do eventually say, hey, I'm ready to just settle it down, I'm ready to be done, what do you think that you might do once you're done with that? I don't know, honestly. Um, you know, I got at least four more years after this one. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll kind of see after that point whether you want to keep going or whether it's time for uh, a new chapter. But yeah, I haven't I haven't really I haven't really thought of that. I think when it gets closer, you kind of start to see it shape up. You know, I, I don't think I'm someone that's going to get into coaching or do anything like that. Mm, um, I do see a lot of you. Would you start a podcast? Maybe it, it depends. It depends how it goes. I feel like everybody kind of has a podcast now, so uh, we'll see how it shapes up. But for me, like once I'm done, kind of with the the schedule and the and the, the baseball life and like how busy and chaotic it is, I'll probably be like, I'll probably be done with it mm-hmm. as far as not wanting to get back in on the, on the coaching side. You know, I probably still want to be around the game in some sort of aspect, whatever that may be. I guess we'll kind of see how that shapes up towards the end. But yeah, I haven't really thought about it and something that, you know, fortunately, hopefully I can keep going for a few more years and, and don't have to think about it for a while. Right. Now, no, I feel it. Now, Christian, uh, when it comes, we talk about the the concert that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, this aims, it aim, you, the concert aims to give charity to military veterans and help the Milwaukee community. Mm-hmm. Uh, what problems do you see in both that made you feel that you had to do something about it? Really, it's just to you know to give back and just to help people in need and and whatever whatever aspect of their life that they they need it to be like just offer a helping hand and be there for for support and. Um, Really, just try to to make the community um, 
a better place, a more tight knit place, just to know, mm-hmm. like, show people that hey, we we got your back. Especially when you're in a position of influence and you have an ability to give back. You have a platform and you can use it for good and and to be able to to give back. And um, you know, when, I, when going into this, it wasn't like I was like, I we have to do this. It was just more so like I just want to help people out. And whatever right. aspect that may be, um, and get to know people in the community, talk to Omar, talk to, to influential people around the city, and be like, where do we need help? How do how do we want to go about this? And Brewers Community Foundation does a phenomenal job. So you know, getting to know uh, Katina and Cecilia, who who run that um, branch of the organization, and um, getting to talk to them over the years, doing some stuff with American Family, obviously with Omar, and um, really just finding different ways, you know. With this charity event, but also not with the charity event. Yeah. Kind of just you know being around and doing different different type deals. That's fine. You you like the baseball player I want to be. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we we'll try, you know. We try to do good. You know? No, seriously, <laughs> because like to be able to understand your power and your influence yeah. or your platform. Like, how did you even get to that level of understanding and maturity to understand? Like, hey, I have to do something with this power. Uh, I think it takes a little while. I, I, I think you know this is my. 12th season in the game so i think after a little while you're around it for a long time and from in the day-to-day you don't really realize like how much influence you might have because mm-hmm. it's kind of regular to you you know like you're just around your teammates and you play baseball and it's like kind of your life and you and you forget at times that the 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 impact and, and the positive impact that you can have on, on people's lives um doing whatever it may be it doesn't right. even have to be monetarily you should be saying hello just being somewhere showing support uh it can come in many different ways so uh just just learning as as i've gone along in the game and um it's something that's always been really important to me and um you know it's nice to nice to help people out nice to do some good and um you know support the people that have supported us throughout the year I appreciate that question because ultimately you sound like a person who has been a student of life, you know, and really understanding your purpose and everything that you need to do. Um, My last question for you, Christian, uh, when all the lights go out, Mm -hmm. all the lights go out and, you know, um, your names are your name is in the rafters. Who do you want to go out as? You know, you just want to go out as somebody that. You know, people know that you gave everything that you had to your craft, your game, to the the community. Like you got the most out of your career, and that that's been the, that's the most important thing to me is to know that like however my career shapes up, like who knows? But for me, it's like I want to know that like I gave everything that I had. Like whatever it ends up being is like that's what I had. That's the most I had. I put everything I had into it. I, I worked as hard as I could have worked. I played as hard as I could have played. I, I did everything that. I could do to get the best version of myself out for however many years I end up playing in the league. And I think you're at peace with it when it's done that way. You know, when you're, when you're done playing, you're like, you're at peace. You're like this, that was me. Like that's all I had. And, uh, that's all I had to give. And, and then when it's done, it's done. And, uh, you can, you know, you can lay your head down at night and, you know, be cool with it because you're like, I got the most out of myself and, and, and gave it everything I had. Well, we appreciate you yeah. so much. Christian Yelich, everybody, three-time MLB All-Star, 2018 National League MVP. Like, come on now. We got the <laughs> – listen. Okay, Hall of Famer for sure. Make sure you guys donate and come out to the Home Plate Charity Concert. That is going to be at the Pabst Theater on Thursday, July 25th. Do you have a link or where they can go get tickets? www.visitmilwaukee.org backslash yellow there you go there you yes go. it's gonna be so fun y'all yeah. maybe we're gonna have to go get some tickets i don't know yeah. I mean, we're gonna have to you know figure something out we're gonna have to come down but thank you for joining jamming with juice today and good luck with everything else we got to bring you back i know thank you thank you for having me we're looking forward to having a great night and uh it was great hanging with you guys for a little bit so i appreciate you guys having me yes and thank you so much omar for stopping through as well thank we ain't forget time. about you it's all good <laughs> all right y'all keep it like here's jamming with juice it's all right. Jammin' with Juice returns after this on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, 1017thetruth.com, and streaming live on YouTube.